Jesse? <laughs> it's just going up on a slope. Hi, hi. I am Coco Ferocia. And I am Isis Naraj. And uh, we are back, bitches. Yes, God. Yes, yes God. So, as most of you should know, if you watched the last update video that I did, um, we said we'd be coming back at you after August, so it's after August. Yeah, and we're here to give you just a little update of what's been yes. going on. Um, so far, what's gonna be going on. Yes, so let's get into it. Yes. So, as I'm sure most of y'all is already aware, we kind of had to come out about drag thing with our yes. family. So, um, <laughs> we gotta be filling you in on that. Um, but first of all, we need to backtrack a little bit to how this all came about because as most of you know, we live by, you know, if it ain't paying your bills, you don't need to be telling nobody. Right. And it ain't really like paying our bills at this point. So, <laughs> it was kind of sudden. Yes. But, yes, yeah, so. Um, so, I'm sitting there. Just a random afternoon, we chilling, you know, doing our thing, Good and thing. my phone rings, and it's What's my mother, yeah. so I pick it up, and she's like, talking, 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 and she's like, so who is, I, she said, I saw, I saw a video of you or something, and my cousin sent it to my auntie, who sent it to my mother, so it was like, already like three people knew. Yes. Now... Say the name. She said to me, who is Coco Rochelle, bitch? <laughs> and I'm like, who is Coco Rochelle? Cause... Where is the we just don't know bird? Where is it? Yeah. Um, so I was straight gagged on the phone. I was like, literally sat there. <laughs> like, just completely, like, I didn't know what to say. And she kept talking and talking. And I was just gagged. And she, but throughout the conversation, she said, like, uh, no matter what, I'm always gonna love you, and etc. I was just kind of a bit, you know, completely caught off guard, so I didn't know what to say to her. I hadn't had time to prepare. Right. And like, we already <sighs> had like the trip book. Jesus, See, I'm, I'm like, like whoo! Yeah, it was a moment. <laughs> like, I, I was sat there like, <laughs> fuck, because this is the thing. He got asked about it because of, you know, the, you know, your. Uncle, told yeah, my cousin, whatever, your cousin. Um, so it's and like, he found it just online. Yeah, and so. that's the thing. Like that's why I didn't want to have any mention of where we're from. Nothing because it's like one person finds out, you're fucked, and that's proof right there. Yeah, that people. Cause uh, even though your cousin whatever like wasn't hating or anything, I'm just saying in general. Like when you see something like that, maybe you know you would think that that's something that. The son should tell the mother. Yeah, you know, and just. But let I think that I think happen. he just assumed that she already knew. Because yeah. How would I be doing this without I, knowledge? Yeah, but I was. Um, you know, not not against anyone. I'm just no, saying, no. So I people know. out there watching this, like, don't try and clock a bitch, especially if you ain't sure. Like, find out first. You yeah. know, like, yeah, cause it's a sure. big deal. Fuck. Yeah, of course. Anyway, especially where we're from. Ciao. You know, I'm sad that when you got that call, like, fuck, I'm dead, that's it, like, I oh died tonight, God. I died tonight. It was too much, my brain can handle it, and we were obviously here, thousands of miles from home, couldn't, I couldn't get my mom in person and be like, you know, explain everything to her, yeah. and speak about everything, so I was like, you know, when I, a little later on, I got myself together, and I was like, I'll tell you more when I'm there, yes. uh, you know, sorry, I haven't told you, it's not like, you know, it's just, I was obviously worried about what my parents would think and coming out was really difficult for me at the time. And my mom had basically done, she's done a complete 180 from the person she used to be and how she used to view everything. Um, so yeah, that's what kind of happened before we went back. Yeah, and I was like, you know, excited to see my family. I haven't seen them in ages and everything. And then it's like, fuck, like, you know, Really? Like, now I have <laughs> this? Like, because yeah. I knew that if I went there and didn't say anything, they'd find out by someone else. Yeah. And then I wouldn't be able to... Like, it was a fate. It was like, yeah. you know, it just so happened to come out on your side just before we fucking flying over. So it's like, yeah. I gotta say it. And y'all don't even know <laughs> the stress. I was just like... <laughs> 
what am I finna do? Like, what am yeah. I tell them? Like, how are they gonna react? I really thought, I really thought it was gonna be a possibility of the situation being like, that's it, like, we ain't gonna fucking help you no more. When you run out of money, you can move back here and we can figure this out. Because like I already said to people, you know, there was that whole time when I was, you know, I had my whole goth look going on, my dress in my hand. There was like a bit of a situation when my parents saw me down the street because I used to get ready at your house. Yeah. So having already experienced like something like that, I was obviously worried, you know. So, yeah, but... Didn't quite go as bad as I thought it would. Yeah, so then we got back and I was like, okay, I had it in my mind. Like, it was like uh, three weeks before we went back that we had to sit on it and think about it. And it was kind of like, oh, for you, do you tell her? Do you not tell her or whatever? Yeah. And for me, it was like, okay, I'm going to speak to my mom. I, I had in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to tell her, you know, up, down, left, right, you know, whatever. And I get there and it's like, I just felt like so intimidated by the whole thing. I don't want to say scared because I wasn't scared because obviously nothing bad was going to happen, but I just felt uncomfortable and awkward because it's something like, you know, I'm out there in a wig and you know, you got yes. titties and a skirt and a dress on and I just felt like a little uncomfortable. Yeah. So I don't know, y'all can follow me on Facebook, y'all can see that I, I was on and I felt like kind of stuck. Cause I'm like, okay, she knows. And it's, it's sitting in the air, like, in the tension between me and my mum. Like, I can feel it. Like, I just don't know how to go... A little bit and kind so of... So, we going to talk about this? Yeah. It was like... But then, I find I spoke to you about it, and you were yeah. all about, like, take your moment and do it. Yeah. And I just kind of felt the moment and spread it out. And as awkward as I felt, it ended up in a good place, really. And, yeah. and my mum's super supportive, and my stepdad is super supportive. Um, I haven't had a conversation with him about it yet. But... At the same time, you don't really need to, though. Like, no, as as he is, like, there, the like... most chill-ass dude, like, ever. So, I, I, it was more about my mom. My mom's more the emotional... High, like, I don't want to say high strength. It's a bit rude. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. But, um... Yeah, so, things are good, bitch. Now, I just want to pause a minute and say... Before we went back home to visit the family, we had already organized, and this is the first time that we've ever even been on vacation together, by the way. Because right. you all know when we did the drag stars at sea, we said we'd never been on vacation together. So right. this trip to Gibraltar, we were going to go with my parents to Portugal. We ain't never been away together. No. We're, he ain't never been with my parents for that long before ever. No, and, and uh, me and, and his parents had a kind of rocky... Yeah, relationship for a fair. while. Yeah, because but we didn't really get to know each other. Exactly. At the time anyway. So that was no reckoning as it was. Let alone yeah. now I'm meant to get to, you know, my home, and, um, <laughs> and you know we we don't need to say. Yeah. Um. So I gotta get there, and then in a week we're gonna go to Portugal for a week, and I'm like. I get there, do I say something before Portugal and then if it goes wrong, it's like fuck, we're like, we're gonna be stuck in this vacation together and there's gonna be some kind of drama. Yeah. Or do I wait till after Portugal and it's like, oh, you waited till after the vacation to say something big. <laughs> so, that too, I'm like, can something just be easy? Yeah. Not, nothing ain't easy in no, life. Nothing. No, no ma'am, nothing comes for free. So I was fine, like mm -hmm. really struggling and talking to everyone and I must say shout out to you Dana Newman because she's like the first person I hit up and yes I just want to say thank you for being for them, for me, mother. Anyway, so it just kind of happened naturally for me like two days into being back home one morning I woke up and my mom was talking about something in the news, something about like gay rights or something, something like that. And which we don't really have back there anyway. And um, just because the topic came up and I'd like just woken up and it just like I heard a voice in my head like RuPaul saying like just do it bitch. <laughs> and it just felt right and you know I just led it into it like look this is what I do you know. Like kind of you know I might have been on a stage you know once or twice or you know like you know I talk to a lot of like kids who are like been through what I've been through and all of this and you know she was feeling it and I was like now what did I tell you 
that all of this was done while maybe wearing like a dress, you know? Okay, um, we, our battery was dying, we had to fix that and everything, so if like shit has moved, sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, you know, I just kind of led her into it like that and then told her, you know, I do it while I am, you know, in drags. And, um, like, to my surprise, she was, like, really, like, excited about it. Like, she had a big smile on her face. And she's like, oh, uh, can I go to your show one of these days or whatever? And I'm like, I already have a show. Like, you can hit me up on YouTube, but I don't have a show. Oh, God. But, you know, it was really good because we, it, like, opened the door to talk about a lot of things that happened in our past. And, like, that whole situation when they saw me out, dressed how I was. And, um... You know, things were really heated, and I was like really mad, and they were mad, and you know, she told me like, when I saw you that day, like, if I'm honest with you, the only thing I could think was how gorgeous you looked, and I was like, I never in a million years thought I would hear something like that coming from my parents' mouth. Now, still ain't told my dad, but, you know, that's personal shit, my mom said, you know, don't worry about that, I got you. So I'm not gonna worry about that. It is what it is, and you know, I, I, you know, we've been given like something that not everybody gets. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, like I was worried for a reason. Like this is recent shit that my mom's really trying to get it and listening and listening to what I have to say. And yeah. like this whole like vacation for me was so amazing because we talked about so many different things that happened in the past yeah so many times and so many times i sit with my mom for like five hours talking about shit and really getting to know each other on like a deeper level which i didn't know that was ever gonna happen again because me and my mom were like that when i was a kid so it was amazing yeah it was really good for us to go back and like we always tend to go back home for the summer for a long period of time and it helps to recharge your batteries and this time it was so especially important to speak about everything yeah. and to be able to connect with our parents on a deeper level to be free from the weight of the drags on your shoulder yeah. oh somebody gonna clock you and you're gonna be left there with nobody yeah. and you ain't gonna do it again and whatever the and case may be and you know like be. my mom thinking like I'm here in UK doing nothing right. but playing video games I'm trying and now she knows that we're working towards something yeah. bigger yeah. than me sat you know in boots or whatever yeah. which is fine but it's hard and our particular situation with what we've been through even just being out in the world like that is really hard for us sometimes yeah and that ain't an excuse like it is what it is so it was really nice to finally feel like they get that yeah and it's so important to be able to share oh mom I want a fucking cruise like when we won the cruise bitch we had what, to did I, what did I tell my mother what that we 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 had a write a story oh that we had a pause yeah we, we had, had a, write a write story <laughs> about our past and like people were so inspired that we got like you know this i don't know we're like yeah we like to say the votes we got like five thousand plus votes yeah and um you know it's really great and you know now they can know like this no we didn't write no fucking story like we earned this we earned yeah. people you know feeling us and yeah. loving us and we love you for loving us and, yes you know and that's sickening that we've been able to reach out to so many people you know and it's so nice to be able to share that with your family you know especially being that we don't have that many friends with i do want to say even though i doubt like my parents will see this or whatever like you know even though my dad doesn't know about the drag yet like i've seen such a change in him this last time i went over like yeah hanging out with him every day and like going for dinner together and stuff and like walking the dog and stuff and like spending hours at a time together like it was really nice and I genuinely enjoyed his company and he felt the same way and like I wanted that for so long yes so I shout out to my dad like that's it like that's what I'm saying <laughs> yes and shout out to my mother too if she watches this secretly I see you yes yes <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, we don't want to sit and talk about it too long. And yeah. it's very personal as well. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, but, but 
you know, I hope that someone yes. gets something from this. I yeah, just know I that if you're in the same situation, it's possible because I have seen so many times people told me about things, and even though you're happy for them, you're like, that ain't never gonna happen for me. Right. Trust me when I tell you, trust me, I <laughs> never in a million years thought that my mom would be accepting yeah. of me doing track and happy for me. Never. So if you yeah. feel that way, give it time because anything is possible believe me yeah it is just you know have faith in all that yes have faith and if they don't it is what it is baby yep. so we also want to give a shout out to miss alaska thunderfuck yes who hit us the fuck up and said bitches i'm in london we were still back home yeah so we're like, okay we coming back wednesday she's like okay i'm in the club thursday yeah. So we like, oh, um, hmm, okay. We ain't done drag in two months. No. If we want to go see your ass, and I got to be in the drag, because, like, no tea, like, promotion people, <laughs> not only that, but, you know, you're going to meet Alaska. Yeah. It's like, well, bitch, you finna meet ISIS. In that case, that's the, you know, best yes, I can God. do for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, put some work in. Yeah, so it was really great meeting her. We went down to London and, you know, we sat with her all night in Kiki. Yeah. And she treated us like gold, baby. Yes, like, God. believe it. Like, yeah. she treated us she like was, gold. She was a sweetheart. And she was. So, thank you, Alaska. And it was yes. a blast. And I can't wait to see us on the cruise. Yeah. Shout out to all the five bitches we met in London. Shout out to Miss Coco Femfontaine. And hey. All the girls, the and girls, the all girls. The girls. Yes. Um, y'all were so fab. Um, and yes. shout out to Lil Harry who got us that cat that the other night with that bitch. weird guy, honey. Yes, yes God. God. So before we wrap this up, all my life I'll have good luck. <laughs> you know. Shout out to Vicky. Yes. Um, I do want to say, I'm going to be working on what tutorials I can give you now. Keep in mind, yes. I never done no makeup tutorial, so that might take some time for that to come out, just because the whole setup, how you do your makeup while a camera on, like, do, like and you got a mirror, it's, it's very hard, it's very hard. <laughs> so I'm going to try. <laughs> can I say? Yes, I'm, I'm going to try to figure that out, but it's yes, going to take too, me a while. Me too. It's gonna take a cause. You I, gotta get it right. You want you don't want yeah, to be. Yeah, you don't want to be. Cause you know it's gotta be a, a little bit janky, not like a lot janky. You know. I yeah, definitely. You gotta get it right. Jank in there, like you know. Yeah. Yes, but it's it's gonna be difficult because even that hair tutorial I did, I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. I'm like I'm <laughs> fit to have all these brushes in my face, so I'm gonna try. But don't get impatient because it's hard out here. Yes. But the hair tutorials are easier, so that will probably be coming out sooner. Uh, we're gonna be doing the season one reviews because yes. Drag Race season one is being revealed um, after Again, all this time. Whatever they want to call it, honey. Yes. Whatever tagline they want to put after it. So now, we were gonna we were gonna do some like advanced um, reviews, but there's apparently new Rue bonus whatever. Exactly. So, so we like you know maybe she says something and we need to talk about so. So um, we got away. Which yeah. fuck that shit. I know. We could have filmed it. Pre oh. it airing, then we don't have the fucking pressure. How you gonna do me like that, bro? Yes. But we will be doing season one reviews. Yes. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen it already. Whatever, we just gonna kiki about it because. And a lot of y'all said that y'all want us to review all seasons anyway. True. So fate is fate, right? Right. Right. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, I hope this satisfies you for a little while. Yes, I don't know when we'll be back exactly again, but enjoy this update. Yes, we'll and be back. I mean, we, 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 if, if not... Give it a not, thumbs up! <laughs> yeah, Please. give it a thumbs up. Um, and if, if not, um, we're back by the 30th or around shortly thereafter anyway. We forced Tony so. You'll be seeing a lot more and be real sick of these motherfucking mugs Just and faces Just go. So, until then, we shall leave you wanting more. Bye. 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 Bye.